So let's take a look at Explain Everything and how we can do some really basic animations using this fantastic application. So what the first one I'm going to do is a little Harry Potter. So in our past lessons we've been looking at bringing in um, images and doing some cropping. So I've got a little picture of Harry here that I've already cropped. And let's do a little animation where we've got um, some lightning coming out of his wand. And it's as simple as pressing the pen tool, selecting uh, the width, selecting a color to come out of the wind, uh, out of the wand, sorry, and pressing record. So if I do a little here, I can do some sound effects like that, press stop, press it, play it back, and you can see there, there's a little animation there of Harry actually um, with a wand and actually um, lightning coming out of his wand. But we can do some other things. So I'll just I'll just get out of this one here, no, and I'll just start a new one. We can also do some different kinds of animations here. So just bear with me. What I'm going to do is a quick sketch of some hair. I could use some different colors here if I wanted to. But I'm just going to do a, a girl here with some hair coming out. And I'm actually going to use uh, some shape tools um, to bring in. So on my keyboard over here, bring in some um, eyes. And bring in a, another eye, just move that around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is bring in a, another, but this time change the colour of the eye. And I'm going to make a, just a little eyeball there. And what I might make is one more eyeball for the other side. Perfect. And what we're actually going to do here is actually move one of the eyeballs around when we press record. So it'll give that impression that it's moving. So I'm about to press record down the bottom. It's recording now, move the eye around a little bit, uh, maybe move this eye around a little bit, and all of a sudden we've got some animation. So I'll stop that, play and just see how it looks. You can see there that her eyes are moving. So it gives that impression that we've got some little animation happening here from either side, and it gives a little bit of a life to our drawings. So that's just two really quick ways that we can use Explain Everything to do some animations um, uh, in digital storytelling or uh, uh, maybe another curriculum area. Paul Hamilton here signing off.